today we're gonna be reacting to three scary true cooly horror stories animated by horror none other than horror shorts party and number of watching them first watching them in 2020 man i, I like their animations man their animations are fire but um yeah and yeah so if you're wondering what uh, this little dinosaur right here, one of our machine yesterday at round one, I don't know if y'all know that, uh, Arcade. No, Arcade's okay, it's kind of mid. But yeah, a little bit over mid, I guess you would say. But yeah, and yeah. Um, yeah, let's get right into this video. Oops, I hate that I just want I don't know if you all can hear that. It's raining outside. Poor shorts party. True Kool Aid Horror Story 1. Kool Aid. If y'all know me, Mom, Kool Aid Mom. But, but if y'all know me, you know, you, uh, I love me some Kool Aid. This bro. story happened a few I years like ago Long. and still traumatizes me to this day. It happened back when me and my brother used to live with our mom. Our dad was never around, so mm. it was just the three of us. Why does the mom look like that? My Wait. mom was far from the right type of person to raise kids. Neither of us feel safe around her. My mom has always had serious issues, but she yeah. changes a lot day to day. On an average day, she's tolerable, but she's still barely there on the inside. Mm. I usually step up to yeah, the actual happens. parent in the house. If yeah. it were up to my mom, we would all starve, because yeah. all she gave us was Kool-Aid. She was a garbage mm. person, a real piece of yeah, shit. Ain't nothing wrong with Kool-Aid, but it's like, like Kool-Aid like Kool every day, and then, oh shit, until she cigarettes. Looks like she smokes well, if it's like Kool-Aid every day, then, without and, uh, any warning, she'll get up and but I like me like that was like me but like, that was like years ago. screaming about nonsense and wrecking everything in the house whenever that happens the next 24 hours is a guaranteed trip Jeez. to hell I'm convinced what does the TV do what did the shit do that recently she had started doing something different her bedroom is at the end of the hall so whenever my brother or I leave our room we would see her creepy ass in the darkness Oof. it was fine when she hid with her door closed I'd be scared, but now man. she sits at the foot of her bed with the door wide open uh, staring down the hallway are those, aren't, aren't those the Kool-Aid jammers whatever they're called twitching like oh, that's, that was my childhood her sheets are covered in Kool-Aid packets and empty bottles of the medication she's supposed to take Oof. so we both know it's only a matter of time before her next yeah. episode I love Kool-Aid but to an extent you know going on for almost two weeks the dread was killing me I'd been doing everything I could to avoid leaving my room but that night no, yesterday I said I was gonna make needed to multiple videos yesterday, but I'm gonna no get a chance to go out you know? there. Hey, what are you doing? You can't go out there. I have to. Just pretend like you're asleep, okay? I'll be back in a few minutes. Be careful. I will. This this could be as fuck, man. Oh shit! Hi, mom. Sorry, I'm up. I, I just really needed to use the bathroom. Oh, this is mad. What the hell? Why did I do that? But yeah, what the, what the fuck are those cockroaches? What the fuck? Why she move like that? That shit was creepy. That was, that was creepy as fuck. Mom, what's the matter with you? No, this is like her drug. The mom, this is like her drug. I was like, no. What's going on? She's acting like the. I have no idea. The, um, the Kool Aid is like drugs and shit, you know? Shit, yes the fuck you nice did. Large glass of Kool-Aid, boys. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks, Mom. Oh, she probably laced it. Tastes like shit. Yeah, oh, Mom. Knew it. 
something about this Kool-Aid doesn't taste right. Drink the Kool-Aid or else you'll have to drink the milk from my bean bag. What? Okay. okay. Hell no. <coughs> Ugh, Thor's violently throwing up. <coughs> Shit. Yeah, I guess she was lazy the or something. Day, my brother and I woke up in the hospital. That crazy bitch had poisoned the Kool-Aid yeah. she gave us. We almost didn't make it. The only thing that saved us was a 911 call I made that I didn't even remember doing. My mm. mom was mm. arrested, and my brother and I were taken from her custody. It was later found out that her mental illness had severely worsened, and that she was unmedicated at the time. So her sentence was slightly reduced. Bruh, but she really? still faces years in prison and decades of close psychiatric I'll keep that bitch in jail, man. My brother and I have been staying with like, relatives ever that since. That shit's fucking to do to your own kids, you know? Without them. But neither of us will ever forget what happened that night. And we certainly won't be touching Kool-Aid for the rest yeah. of our lives. Definitely, man. This story was inspired by a horrific Kool-Aid incident regarding a woman who pled guilty in giving prescription medication mixed into Kool-Aid to her really? daughter. What the fuck? The suspect was a 43-year-old oh, man. Woman she actually looks at the animated version of mental health problems of herself and is to undergo a psychiatric evaluation Ugh. before she's she sane too in court lawton pled guilty in the attempted assassinations it was mentioned that lawton would serve concurrent prison sentences and that she would undergo a psychiatric evaluation it was alleged that Lawton brought the victims into the kitchen, told them to sit down, and gave them Kool-Aid with the medication mixed into it. One of the victims then called 911 and told dispatchers that her mother was trying to poison the pair. The victims That's have up, since been yeah. in the custody of relatives. To do to your young kids, you know, or anyone in general. Narrated by Terrence Nicholson. Disturbing cool dream. When I first got married, I thought I had found the person that would make me happy for the rest of my life. That feeling didn't last long, though. It's amazing how quickly someone can change after getting married. Yeah, that's Years later, true. I couldn't even Ugh, why she, why she looks like a snob. First place. I hated her more than anything. The only reason that I even stuck around was because we had a daughter together. She was the only good mm. thing that came out of our relationship. If it wasn't for her, I would have just yeah, walked about the kids, you know, I forced you know, myself to stay even though I couldn't stand the sight of my wife anymore. I didn't want to divorce either because a lawyer was way too expensive. Besides, yeah. the bitch would just end up getting child support and alimony from me for the rest of my life. There really was nothing about her that was appealing to me anymore. She used to be hot when we first got yeah. married, but then she completely let herself go. She got really disgusted. Most of the time, she would just lay around like a sack of shit and drink cool. Yeah, acting like Snorlax. Snorlax is like to help around the house. Lazy so, she know. just lived off me and unemployment checks while she sat on her ass all day. <laughs> I despised everything about her. She was totally useless. I don't know if y'all can do that. It's thundering. She was always angry at everyone too. What she had to complain about, I didn't know. It was honestly better that she was always in a bad mood though, because it meant that she didn't really want anything to do with me either. I couldn't imagine what I would do if she still wanted to be physical together. I couldn't even get it up for her anymore. She just got worse and worse. Ugh, couch potato. Ugh. Not only was she lazy and gross, that, that was like shit standing on the couch. On this medication. Pizza I on the pizza worse. slice. I was a dead man walking every day. I felt like my life was slowly crumbling away. Then one day, I had enough. I just couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't keep providing for someone that made me loathe my own life. Yeah, I would have gotten, gotten, gotten divorced from her, man. Cause I, I, it would have. Cause like going through that, having to deal with your wife like that. I found a way to poison her. Yeah, you shouldn't have to go through that. Why did you just drink Kool Aid anyway? She would have no idea what I had done. I thought that was like alcohol, but like it's Kool Aid. So let me make more sense. Then one night, I went into the living room where she always sat. I asked her if she wanted some more Kool Aid. She looked even more terrible than usual. Looks pissed. Of course I do, you idiot. Took you long enough to ask. Chill out, Kool-Aid man. Has, has that bitchy attitude, nice. man. I fought back the urge to scream at her. I knew that I couldn't blow her. I screamed her no matter what. I was screamed at her no matter what, man. Besides, if everything worked out, I would never have to speak to her again. That's when I went back into the kitchen and made some more Kool-Aid. Then I carefully mixed in the poison. It disappeared completely when I poured it in. First of all, I wouldn't do that. That's so dumb. The poison. I would have just gotten a divorce. No. My wife snatched the glass out of my hand and started gulping it down. I watched as she drank every last drop. Then I waited expectantly. But to my surprise, nothing happened. She was completely fine. 
I couldn't believe it. I was so sure that I was going to be rid of her, but it didn't work. I was furious. I wasn't gonna. Ah, oh, that's mad. Damn it. I fucking hate you guys, man. Oh, yeah, uh, my paycheck went through, guys. But I'm probably gonna get um, premium. But uh, I'm gonna be reacting to another video right after this. I see two more videos after this. But this time, I doubled the dose just to make sure that it would be enough. This time, I didn't even ask if she wanted any. I just prepared the poison and brought her the glass. I knew the bitch was too greedy to refuse it. Of course, I was right. She immediately drank the whole thing, just like before. This time, I was sure she that it was porn last time. I right stared now. at her, waiting for the poison to kick in. But again, nothing happened. Before? I completely lost my shit at that point. It wasn't fair. Why wasn't it working? I snapped and started screaming at her. Why won't you die already? Just die! Then I realized that something was starting to happen. She started to convulse violently in her chair and foam at the mouth. It was finally working. I watched through the whole now, thing. That's a lot of damage. A more beautiful sight. A few minutes later, it was over. She was dead. I thought everything was going to be perfect after that. I got rid of Oh, honestly, he could have done some alternate finally beginning way of short lived. Dealing with the problem. started trying to get in yes. contact with her after they didn't hear from her for a few weeks. It didn't take long for them to find out she was yeah, dead. Yeah, it's porn right now. I don't know if they hear it, but I'll probably show like, a clip at the end of the video. I had done. I went to jail for a little, little over now. a month after my wife had died. That's how long I got to live again. At one point, I managed to escape. It was during the 4th of July fireworks show. All of the commotion allowed me to slip away. <laughs> this, 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 this but I knew I couldn't be on the run for long. They caught me a couple days later and brought me back. Now I'm stuck drinking crappy Kool Aid in jail for the rest of my life. Could have had an alternate way of doing this shit, dealing with it, besides killing his wife. Uh, I don't know. It's raining. It's pouring. The story was inspired by a disturbing incident regarding a Southern Missouri man. Who was convicted of killing his wife by giving her Kool Aid laced with prescription drugs? Jurors found 37 year old Jason McClurg of Winona guilty of the death of 32 year old Stephanie McClurg. Court records show he looked up overdose information online and that his first effort to poison her didn't work. So he tried again. He was also convicted of escaping from the Shannon he County could have Jail with this arrest. In a more happened when he and other safer way, taken or in a different way, you know, July so killing show. his wife, you know, I know I already said that, but days later still. In a camper trailer near his hometown. And also, what? well, um, I was, I know I saw the notification for SML. I'll be reacting to that later. A few years ago. When I was dating my it's boyfriend like scary at the time, this animation. Me, when I met him, he was obsessed with Kool Aid more than the average person, and it wasn't just. I mean, I like me a cup itself. of Kool Aid every uh, uh, like every one or a cup, a cup of two, posters. maybe. It was weird but as hell, but I just I don't go like drinking it all day, every day, you know. and really started to notice his unhealthy addiction to the red powder. It's all he drinks. Some days he doesn't eat anything except spoonfuls of undiluted Kool Aid mix. His teeth are chronically stained red Ugh. and have slowly been rotting away for years. Yeah, my teeth get really stained red and my tongue too. Home, he really leaves the house, which but means I'll, has I'll any brush my to teeth too. Like he's Not right person, after, but like after like a few hours. A break from the Kool -Aid. But like, I was just brushing my teeth and I stay clean. Took a turn for the worst when he ordered a Kool Aid Man costume on eBay. What the fuck? The moment he put that Ugh, on, that's so it the personality of the Kool Aid Man. I knew that my boyfriend was a sick and mentally ill man. It's crazy how like the animations Jerry they added like the teeth like cool the Kool Aid Man. If I ever suggested that he drank something else, or if I ever called him Jeremy, he would snap at me. And since then, man, that fucking eyebrows, man, costume, and the teeth. Into shower, and every single day, the stench that emanates from him became increasingly worse. He won't even take it off when we are intimate. The guy literally embodied the whole Kool Aid persona. It was just. I wouldn't even go to that far and extent, and I wouldn't even go to that extent, man. Mental disorder, but it didn't matter because he would refuse to get in. And then nose help. too. The what guy the thought fight? he didn't have a problem and thought I was overreacting. I tried to accept the way he is, but after I would have slept in a different room or stayed at somewhere years. else. His obsession was gradually the friend's house, maybe, then a few weeks ago, things got really bad between me and Jeremy. 
One night, he ran out of Kool-Aid, and since he can't drive with the giant Kool-Aid man suit on, I've been making all the trips to the store. Feel bad for her, man. And when I told him she that I wanted to wait it. until the morning, he threw a tantrum like a spoiled toddler. Despite being disturbed, I hate when adults act like children having a fucking tantrum like that shit, man. That shit's so embarrassing. Round and we got into a heated argument. At a certain point, he started throwing things at me, and that's when I finally left the house and said I would get his stupid Kool Aid if he would just calm down. I drove away, but I didn't go to the store. Man, she shouldn't have to go through that. A few times until uh, I had pain to pull over and have an man. emotional breakdown. I called my closest friend and told her everything while I tried to collect myself. After almost an hour of conversation, she convinced me that it was time to stop enabling Jeremy's destructive habit. We made a plan of action for me to confront him, and once I was ready, I drove home without any Kool-Aid. Man, this shit is just gonna be scary as fuck. Oh, it's an ad. Damn it. It's like the third ad in a row, man. Well, that's okay. There you go. Um, hi. I need an officer to come to my house. Ma'am, is this an emergency? No, I, I just, I just need someone to be here in case things get bad. I'm scared of my boyfriend, and I know he's going to get violent. What's the address of your house, ma'am? It's 69 Oak Street in Spokane Valley. A deputy will be directed to your house and should arrive shortly. Are you currently at your house, ma'am? Yes, I'm right outside in my car. Listen carefully. Do not go inside your house until the deputy oh, she... arrives. Remain in your car. Do you understand? That's scary. <laughs> Please hurry and send somebody here. Ma'am, stay in your car. Holy shit. Oh no. Wait, didn't the officer stay in your car? Oh shit. Where's my Kool-Aid, bitch? I need it now! Give me my magic dust! I didn't get any! You need to stop this! You're telling me you don't have any Kool-Aid? Do you want me to drink your blood instead? What the fuck? Ooh. Yeah, I ought to keep him in the balls too, bro. He ain't fucking doing that shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I saw the car behind him. Behind. Shit. He has a weapon. I didn't even see a weapon. Jeremy was later arrested for attempted murder. He's, he's wearing the Joker we colors. I just realized it. As of now, he is still waiting for his trial in jail because he couldn't afford bail. I'm happy to know that he will be put away and get the help he needs. Yeah. But after everything That's that like happened, insane, bro. there is still one thing that will always remind me of him. Every time I pass by the Kool-Aid at the supermarket, I'm hit with flashbacks of that night. That's, story. that's why I call it trauma, man. A disturbing Kool Aid incident regarding that's why I call year old actor what am I talking Jeremy about? Lindholm, who has been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder after attacking his girlfriend with a baseball bat over Kool Aid. Sheep. Lindholm was an actor on a series called The Twin Peaks and reportedly fled the scene of the alleged attack while clutching the bat after the victim called the cops. Jeremy told the police that he had been arguing with his girlfriend before she headed out to get in Kool Aid when she failed to return. Jeremy became angry and went to find her. Police officers responded to calls that the male was at a location with a bat still in his hand as mentally he crazy, but that he had quickly given up when confronted by officers. They confirmed the incident was a domestic related case. Lindholm has since been booked into jail and charged with attempted second degree murder, second degree assault, and now, how you gonna ruin your life like that, man? including assaulting the unnamed victim's friend. The victim was eventually transported by ambulance to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. That's crazy, man. That's the end of the video. But, yeah. Um, man, that, this, that, those are crazy stories, man. What was the first one about, uh... Let me check. Oh yeah, the mom. Yeah, that one was fucked up, bro. No, it's only a matter. Of Sorry, guys. Yeah, that one was Time fucked up. Before. Shit. Yeah, but that one was fucked up. Then the wedding one. 
Yeah. The, the, the husband and wife one killing his wife over the. I see. He, he could have handled it a way better way to do it, but he didn't, and now he's in jail. It's still, I think, I don't know. But that last one, the domestic one with the Kool Aid, the in the Kool Aid suit, and that shit's fucked up. How are you going to kill? How are you getting killed? How are you getting killed? You how are you getting killed? Your girlfriend. I'm sorry. How are you are you getting killed? Your girlfriend over there, man. Over Kool Aid, that's like really unprofessional of John your part for the for being a boyfriend. Now he's getting domestic violence and shit. Damn. but yeah, I was gonna upload a little more videos yesterday, but I was busy. I went out with friends. Uh, but at least I did get this uh this uh dinosaur. I don't know what dinosaur it is, but I don't remember what it's called. I know. Oh, it's the Stegosaurus. It's literally on the tag. But, but yeah. Um, your boy hungry. And I'm, I'm going to eat right after this, reaction, this video. And I'm going to edit while I'm eating. Or while I'm finding something to eat. But, um, yeah. Leave me the end of the video. And this video was really good. I really like the story. How it's like, so I like, said or like how i was like being told yeah told how the story is being told you know um yeah um yeah this video was pretty good i like the animation so so i hope you have a great day night evening afternoon um all the above morning i guess morning yeah um i don't know if i said that already but uh yeah i'll yeah, have a good day. And yeah. See you on the next video. And peace out. <laughs>